Chair for the Save Mass and South Coalition. I'd like to introduce some other folks up here. They'll be speaking tonight. Frank Walsh. Uh, I am also the co-chair for Save Madison South and also on the board for the Madison South uh, Neighborhood Association. I'm State Representative Jackie Dingfelder and I live in Rose City Park just on the other side of the golf course. Yay! And I'm Lauren Schmidt. I'm the land use chair for Roseway Neighborhood um, and also on the board. Great. Well, thank you everyone for coming here tonight. Um, it's really making a big statement for our whole entire area that we are ready to rock and roll. Woo! Yeah. Okay, so we do have to have some speeches here, and we want to make sure that everybody knows that we're not alone. We have some very exciting news. Mass of little guys, it's the classic David versus the Goliath. And the odds are stacked against us, but you know what? We're not afraid to stand up and say what we believe in. We're all taking a stand because we're fed up with big box stores uh, coming in and hurting our business districts, bringing in lots of traffic and destroying our neighborhoods. We deserve better than that. 82nd deserves better than that. And Portland deserves better than that. So we are, our children deserve better than this. Did you know that almost 2,000 children Rose City Heights, the old Gregory Heights, and Jason Lee are going to be impacted by this thing if it were to go in. That's a lot of kids we need to protect. Yeah. Every one of us here tonight has to put an end to this ridiculous project. So, what do you do? Okay? Some of you have lawn signs. Some of you have uh, signed some letters. Just so you know, in order to testify, the hearing date is October 1st and 3rd. And you're going to hear more from Frank on the technical side and also Lauren. But in order to testify, you have to sign a letter and get into the city. Well, we made it real easy for you. We got the letters here. All you have to do is sign it. We'll mail it for you, okay? <laughs> That's really easy. There you go. <laughs> and, you know, this isn't going to be cheap. We need your help now. And I'm asking 300 people. I don't know that there's 300 people here, but um, for $100 each, that will help us pay for our lawyer and make our case. Now, if you can't do $100... We understand. How about a yard sale? You don't even have to pay anything out of your pocket. How about if you donate your bottles from your bottle return? You know, that money, you could do that. Um, Five dollars, one dollar, we can, anything will help us. We have to pay for a lawyer, we have to pay for legal fees and traffic, so we need your help now. And we have a tremendous opportunity. In case you haven't noticed, there's a sign over there that actually says, what's your vision for 82nd Avenue? Take a look at it, start thinking. You know, we all have an opportunity to shape the whole area from now on for the next 50 years it's our opportunity to build the next great neighborhood in portland so please get active please visit this booth over here come visit all the wonderful businesses that are exhibiting here tonight they're showing their support and um, please take part and be part of the solution and i'd like to turn it over to frank now who will tell you a little bit more about this project in greater detail about uh, what's going on uh, you will get invited to the hearing, as, as Dawn pointed out, and then you will get an opportunity to speak at the hearing. Uh, the hearing is scheduled for uh, October 1st, 9 a.m. to 4 or 5 p.m., and there will be testimony all day long, October 3rd. So the first thing we're asking everyone is to clear October 1st on your schedule, come downtown, and voice your opposition to this development. He's chicken and I'll let him see it. Let He's gonna hurt it. Uh, in the negative. Um, 180,000 foot big box in our neighborhood. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. This is really great. This is the tallest I think I've ever been. My name is Jackie Dinkfelder. I'm the state representative for this district. And I am really proud to say that you guys are amazing. I just can't 
say enough great things about the work that you've done in organizing and the work of the Neighborhood Association. Many of you know that I've served this district now. This is my fourth term. And as I mentioned before, I'm really proud. I live in Rose City Park, just on the other side of the golf course. And I walk several times a week. You can see me early in the morning around here. So I've been seeing the signs go up and really impressed with the organization that you guys have put together in, in response to this development. I will say that this is a, a city issue. Certainly, I'm willing, and I have been talking to our city commissioners because I work very closely with the city. But I think you know it's a city land use decision uh, for this development. However, I will tell you that I actually uh, think that this is uh, a real concern for our neighborhood because, as you've already heard, the, the traffic impact, the fact that it's right across from the school where you're going to have, you know, issues about safety. I think there's a lot of concerns that you guys have raised that need to be communicated to our commissioners, and I'm certainly willing to talk to them as well. And I, I do have to say that I'm really proud of a couple of things that I think will have a big impact on this neighborhood. One of them being that finally we got uh, some reform on the payday loan industry. I know you guys are all familiar with our title loan, the payday loan, and the check cashing shops. And I've been working on that now for six and a half years. And we finally got uh, control of the predatory lending industry. There is now a 36% cap that many of them are actually shutting down because they're saying, you know, we can't charge 500%. We can't make a living, which is sort of hard to believe. But that's you, you've probably seen them already shutting down. There's signs going up. So the good news is we've actually gotten folks like the credit unions to step up and offer low interest, high turnover loans for people who do need uh, that service because there are people that need quick cash. But charging three, four, five hundred percent is, I believe, unconscionable. So I'm really excited that we've got finally bills through that will control that industry. I will mention one of the things I'm most proud of is the session we got through a bill to expand the bottle bill. So when you're talking about you know, collecting uh, cans, we added plastic water containers. That will go into effect in 2009. And for for many of us who care about our parks, care about our environment, and, you know, as I walk, especially around here, I see plastic water bottles all over. And, and hopefully, once we get the bottle bill, we won't see that because people will be picking them up, taking them back to the store. Anyway, those are just some of the positive things that happened this session. And we're so again, I just want to thank you for your hard work. I'm so impressed. <laughs> with a grassroots uh, you know, ability to get things done, because that's what truly makes a difference, because you guys are really who we need to listen to as elected official. You are my boss, and I hope that the city council will seriously take your concerns at heart, and I will do everything I can to talk to my fellow commissioners at the city level about it. Thanks for inviting me. Thank you all for coming out tonight. Make sure you put October 1st on your calendars, and also look around you. Look on the bright. There is a bright side to something bad coming potentially to our neighborhood. It's brought our neighborhoods together. It's brought all of you out here tonight. And we want to harness this energy and go out and do something good that will benefit our neighborhood. Starting with getting a great turnout at the hearing, getting a lot more letters in, so we can say no to this development and then start thinking about what we want to say yes to. So thank you for coming out tonight.